Hello YouTube. So in this video I'm going to do quite something quite different. So this is going to be a test between hyper threading on and hyper threading off of the CPU. So the CPU I'm using today is an i7-3770K. It's not overclocked so everything's stuck. Um, my computer has 16 gigs of RAM, um, everything's stuck. So I've got some programs loaded in the startup. So when I click enter, we'll see how long it takes it to load up all the programs. Okay? Now this um this part is with the hyper training turned off. So let's record the time. And uh, it starts now. So I got eight um applications um starting in the background. Which includes heavy apps like I don't know, Vegas and Chrome, Visual Studio, a lot of this fun stuff. Okay, so let's see how long it takes to um, for it to load up with the hyper threading off. And by the way, if you don't know, hyper threading is Intel Intel um, Intel's new gen CPUs. Actually, you can't say it's new, but it's quite old. But it's quite effective, though. What it does that Intel does a virtual thing to split the CPU's load into two. Therefore, it makes the CPU do um, two tasks simultaneously, which makes the load much more. It makes the old processing much more faster. So we could see many apps loading. Yeah. So Chrome's loaded. Then we have Vegas starting up. Um, this is loaded. iTunes, Utrans loaded, and VLC is loaded. Then we have um, Dropbox starting up. So it's still loading. Um, so Visual Studio is loading up. Is it finished? No, it's not. Vegas is loading. So now the time, time it takes at 1 minute and 47 seconds. So let's see how long it takes it to build all the programs with the hyper threading. And then the hyper threading is an FD feature and AMD came up with something like that. Well, not really the same thing though. Um, they, the FX CPUs that they release have eight cores, which are physical units of threads. So it's, you could say it's eight threads instead of cores. Okay, I think now it's finished. Everything's loaded up. Is it now? You could say yeah. Okay. Now um, the time now is two minutes and thirty-three seconds. Now we're gonna learn. Um, actually, sorry, it's 2 minutes and 20 seconds, okay? Now we're going to load back up and then we're going to turn hyper-threading on and do the same test again and see what happens.